Hey, what's up, guys? All right, in this video, we're going to be talking about what are the some things that you can add to your uh, personal brand or your website when it comes to selling products to increase your conversion rate. So if you don't know me, my name is Daniel. I'm a part of Infobridge.io. And what we do is we help store owners or personal brand owners. We help them scale to the next level. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to increase your conversion score or your conversion rate when when it comes to selling your products online. So I'm going to use a company called Black Li uh, Rifle Coffee Company. So Black Rifle has a lot of following around military uh, t type people and a lot of military people actually support this brand, which is pretty good. They have like a very specific mission when it comes to selling profit prop. Sorry, coffee. Uh, you probably never heard about this brand maybe you did uh, but they have a very unique selling system that I really like so if I just go on their product page you can actually see they are using a subscription model which is like hey if you purchase a product property you know it's $15.99 but if you subscribe you will actually save it it's it will cost you $15.19 per bag plus you will get a free shipping now, if you use a subscription model for your products, you can actually select the number of days, like how often do you want the delivery and the texture. You want whole bean, you want ground coffee, and how many bags do you need? If I want four bags, I can just click on add to cart. But also, they they have this um, um, upselling, which is frequently bought together. Now, for you must be thinking like, oh, this is just like an upsell, you know, that is pretty common in, in the e-commerce marketplace. But that's not true in most cases. I, I work with some brands that are worth a couple hundred million dollars and they don't upsell anything or like they have a very crappy upselling um, that they they can easily do like a really good upsell and, and scale their business to the next level, but they're already on the next level. So, you know, they don't feel like, Hey, um, um, how to do it. So anyways, I, I lost the train of thoughts, but anyways, uh, with this brand specifically, when it comes to like frequently bought together, you can actually see like coffee or die roast. This is the actual one I'm purchasing. Then they have these hazelnut uh, uh, flavored coffee rounds, and then they have Black Beer's uh, Delight rounds. These are rounds that they are trying to sell you. They're not trying to sell you any other coffee bag, right? So they're just trying to sell you these coffee uh, rounds. I work with a company called Deathwish, and Deathwish is a coffee. It's a pretty popular brand. You probably heard about Deathwish, but with Deathwish, the way they sell is if I go on their product page and just like add the product to the cart, what you're going to see is they offer a bunch of different flavors in the same coffee. So if they sell you like a dark roast, they're going to probably sell you like a vanilla or like uh, any other flavor that they might have um, in the upsell. But with Black Rifle, they're selling, they're not selling just another flavor. They're trying to introduce their new products or like their coffee rounds to get you familiar with it that you can purchase with the original product that you're buying. So think about your product and what are some of the upsells and, and cross sells that you can do. Maybe do a split test of like, um, try testing out like your different product lines and try to introduce those products to the customer and see like how that works out for you. Or you can do, uh, if somebody purchased one product from you, you can do sell like another similar product that goes, um, or maybe a different design of the product that can they can purchase uh, on the checkout. That will help you definitely increase your conversion rates when it comes to like any upselling or cross-selling. But make sure your user experience is good, your, your website doesn't look crappy. Make sure everything is good on that side to make a good user experience in the first hand. All right. So if this, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Um, I, I can definitely help you structure your conversions when it comes to scalability side of things. So if you need help, be sure to click the link in the description below and schedule a call with me and I would be happy to help. All right. Thanks. Bye.